Fresh from my rant about Hollywood, look who's here. Mark Stein, best-selling author, probably the most popular guest ever on Varney and Company. I'm, I'm flattering you. I'm on, no, I'm, I'm honoured. There's, there's th what I find interesting about the Oscars show is that you've got the world's greatest actors. You've got people who can play anything. Uh, and yet when you stick them in front of a teleprompter, uh, for a start, they can't read prompter. It's amazing. Yes. It's like you take, uh, like, uh, Ian McKellen or whoever. <laughs> they go all, like, glassy-eyed zombies. They're saying, um, motion pictures <laughs> bring us together to across the world to uh, gather in the dark. And uh, here's the Oscar for uh, best costume design in a documentary short. It's like they can't do it. You've got people in show business who can't who can't do a show and and as you said Stuart it's the dishonor for, for 11 and a half months of the year the motion picture business now is like uh, Ant-Man 3, Iron Man 7, Cardboard Man 12, <laughs> Franchise Man 53, and then for like three weeks before the Oscars, uh, it's all suddenly like Oscar bait, uh, chick flits, uh, flicks, uh, you know, uh, produced by Harvey Weinstein, oddly oh. enough, uh, and, uh, and they pretend they're great artists. So uh, it tells the sobering story of a woman growing up in transphobic Manitoba, and you think, wait a minute, I, I, can, I never saw this film. It was just Franchise Man 57 when I was at the multiplex. Uh, and uh, that's all. <laughs> so that's the thing. It's actually the contradiction between who they pretend to be and what this business model is. Yes. It's like you do business for three hours every day. You're talking about business, you're talking about Apple, you're talking about yeah, stock prices. About and then it's like if you, it's like if you were suddenly pretending uh, when you had your best of Varney that you're like a push tune goat herd for... for for, for, for the year. It's not uh, who they are and they can't do it. They... Now, I was born and raised in England. I, mm. You were born and raised in America or Canada, was it? Or... The Dominion of Canada. The, the oh. Dominion. I am one of your, yeah, I'm one of your Commonwealth, Commonwealth cousins. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Well, lucky you. We're both old school imperialists. <laughs> we <are>. well, <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that to me. <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> you didn't say that in the naturalization no, test. No, okay. <laughs> Seriously. Look, when I, I was born and raised in England and I got you used to the upper classes talking down right, to you. Right, right, right. I mean, treating you like, you know, you're racist, sexist, yeah, 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 yeah. as if you're the unenlightened, the yeah. great unwashed. Yeah, yeah. I get exactly the same feeling when I'm looking at the Oscars. The, the, yeah. the artists come up, take their awards, the comedians try to make me laugh, they're talking down to me. Yeah, yeah. And I, I, think like that, I think that's... I think that's what it is. It's the condescension. And actually, in a media age, they are the equivalent of the dukes and marquises. Mm. They're like a permanent uh, aristocracy. Uh, and, and, and quite simply, they can, I mean, if you, you don't have to go back. People mocked the way the Oscars were a couple of decades mm. back when they'd have things, they'd have like interpretative, there'd be, I think for Saving Private Ryan, they came out and did an interpretative dance for the invasion of Normandy or whatever. You remember you said these, like, 15-minute... Oh. I remember Rob Lowe duetting with Snow White <laughs> once uh, with a uh, good eye. And then if you go back before that, here's the real critical thing. There was a fantastic one during the Vietnam War. Some guy came out, he won the best documentary short for some pro-Viet Cong documentary, got an Oscar for it. So he comes out and he reads out a message from the Viet Cong <laughs> oh. uh, as his acceptance speech. Oh. Frank Sinatra, who's hosting that year, then walks out and says, uh, I want to totally disassociate the Academy from the right. pro-Viet Cong speech. <laughs> uh, Shirley MacLaine walks out and says, well, thanks, Frank, I'm also a member of the Academy and I'd like to reassociate myself <laughs> with the... There were two sides, uh, at least there were two yeah. sides. Sides then. Back yeah, then there were. Today, <laughs> there's, today not. there's not.